Thank you. Uh, Frater Lewis, I've noticed a lot of emphasis on the brain as it relates to human behavior in recent MindQuest articles in the Digest. Isn't it, in fact, the sole personality that accounts for our behavior? Well, it, that's a dual question right there. You have the organic part of ourselves, which is, uh, does affect the emotion to a great extent. We know that through psychiatry and psychology. But so far as the sole personality is concerned, so far as moral character is concerned, the sense of righteousness, it is the sole personality. In other words, what do we mean by the sole personality? We in our Rosicrucian teachings say that you can't evolve the soul and you can't corrupt the soul. Right away we are contradicting theology, which is telling us continually to, to save our soul and, and to evolve our soul and so on. But the inconsistency of that is very obvious to a thinking person. The soul is supposed to be of divine origin. It's supposed to be something that has been, uh, in theology, something that's implanted in man. Well, if the soul is divine, just how does man, the little finite being as he is, how, he, how can he, what, how is it in his province to corrupt the soul, or how is it in his province to evolve or perfect the soul? He can't. So the personality, right, really, is our reaction to our soul, to our what we would call our conscience. As we react to our feeling of righteousness and good, our personality evolves and evolves and comes more in tune with the soul force within inside. We have used in our monographs an analogy, which I'll mention right here. If you had a plain uh, pane of glass, perfectly plain and uh, clear, and you put an electric white bulb behind it, which is pure white light. Let's say that pure white light uh, represents the soul force, if you wish to call it that, and the, the pane of glass represents consciousness. And uh, on one side of the pane of glass, uh, it's murky, and, and the light coming through is very indistinct and uh, so on. But with time, you gradually rub off. With training and experience, you rub off some of this muck on the, on the glass. And you are evolving, if you want to say that. And therefore, the light that comes through the personality gets more bright and more bright and more bright until eventually the personality on the other side is just as bright as the white light coming through. So what you evolve and perfect is the personality and not the soul force. And therefore, we do have to use our, ourselves to understand that. But there is, we are a mechanical being. We are an animal. And the, the physical part of ourselves uh, can naturally determine and affect our personality in a sense. It'll prevent us from being able to go in and attune like we should. Uh, that's true. Uh, that can happen. The two have to work together. In other words, in the Rosicrucian work, contrary to many other ideas, uh, we don't look upon the body as an evil thing and a corrupt thing and so on like that. No, the body is the medium, the vehicle for the spiritual side, the soul, if you wish to call it that, and so on. And it is a very important factor. It is not the complete thing. It is only a part of the thing. And therefore, if you give yourself over to the body, the material side only, you're neglecting the other. On the other hand, if you do like some of the people in India sit cross-legged on the Ganges and letting yourself be uh, diseased and everything else, believing you just have to turn in and devote yourself entirely to the inside, then neglecting the body. After all, the body is a result of natural cosmic laws. Man didn't make it, and therefore man doesn't have a right to destroy it or ignore it.